in the previous video we set up a Hyper-V Windows 11 machine that we will be using for autopilot and Intune stuff. So if you already have another machine, that's fine. Be sure to be logged in as an administrator. So we will need the hardware ID of this machine. It's going to be a file in a CSV format. And then we will import that into Devices, Windows, Windows Enrollment, and Devices. Here are all the autopilot. We're going to import it. They show up here. It, a lot of enterprise have a deal with HP, uh, Lenovo, Dell, and all the um, manufacturer that they insert. So when you order a machine, the hardware ID comes in here automatically. So you normally don't have to do what we're doing right now. But if you're buying from, if you have old machines or buying from elsewhere, this is how you get the hardware ID that we're going to show. And we're going to follow a Microsoft um, uh, document. And we're going to run a uh, PowerShell script somewhere here. Yep, here, where we're going to get this uh, hardware ID in the CSV file. You can, from uh, OOB, out of box experience, press, press Shift F10. And if you're a domain admin in Azure AD and everything, which we actually are, we could run it before we actually set up the machine. But this is the more normal way. And I have a, another video actually showing this. Uh, this feature so you can look there if you're interested okay so let's run this and we're gonna take our um, Hyper-V machine so let's open a PowerShell I'm gonna open a PowerShell IEC let's run as admin and click on the little down here and then we can type everything here see if we can have it uh, side by side I don't think you can copy from one machine to another in Hyper-V or you need to activate the special clipboard oh you can I'm wrong perfect then we don't have to do this I'll quickly just explain what this script does so it's new item of type directory it's going to create a new folder called uh, HWID, hardware ID, we could put whatever we want. Then it's going to change location, CD, set location to that, so it's going to run. Then it's going to add an uh, var environmental variable on the path and be sure that it always look under PowerShell scripts. Then we're going to set the execution policy, which by default is restricted to accept to remote signed. I usually change this one to uh, unrestricted, but uh, this probably works, so we can keep it. Then we're going to download from internet, so we probably have to accept some um, uh, prompts that we are okay to get this new command, get dash Windows Autopilot, and then we will run that, and whatever the hardware ID it gets, it will going to output that file in Autopilot in this name. So we could put any name we want here. I could call this one uh, GBN, it doesn't really matter. Let me do that, GBN. And here I could call this hardware ID GBN, but, oh, I would prefer dash GBN, but I have to do so here as well, GBN. And let's run this. So we click here, see how it goes. So is it okay to run? I'm going to say yes to all. Now we have created this. Uh, let's see, yes to this one. So now it's going to get the script. We're probably on line five or something. Yeah. And then on line six, it's actually going to do it. So we already have our new folder. I'll say yes to all here as well. Oh, there we got it. So hopefully, if I open Explorer here on this machine and I go to this PC, see, it should be the HWIDGBN. And here is our CSV file. So this is the file that we want. So now we, we could either we do it from this machine and upload. That's actually probably to prefer. Or we could copy this one and upload on my other machine. But uh, let, let's do it here. To endpoint.microsoft.com. It will ask me to log in. And at this point... This machine, it doesn't know uh, which organization, so I will have to put uh, John at uh, brains.cloud and then it's going to take to my uh, 
our branding that we had. We see already green, it's downloading the background, and now I just need to put my uh, password. The correct password now? It is. Well, save it, we're gonna reset this machine. I skip for now. I said in the last video, probably set it up. Let's do it in the next video. Sure. Perfect, so now we will import the hardware ID. We have the file locally on this machine. I'm logged in with the admin in Intune, so I have the permission. So let's go devices. Let's go Windows. Let's go Windows Enrollment. Let's scroll down to Devices, Manage Windows Autopilot Devices. And here we're gonna import our CSV file we just created. So we're gonna browse it. And we know it's on the root of uh, C. I renamed it, normally for you might be HWID. I did a dash GBN just to prove that it's not hardcore. It doesn't have to be that name, it's just one shows. And here we have the CSV file. So then they will see that for, uh, format this correctly and we're gonna import it. And that's gonna take a little while, but we are more or less done. We could look at the CSV file in the notepad And just see the look of it. So it's basically headers, it's device, it's a serial number, Windows product, and the hardware hash. So the end here, here's the hardware hash, which at the end just filled with a lot of A. And there is no product ID. And serial number, this is the serial number of uh, my Hyper-V. And Shouldn't there be more? Oh yeah, device serial number. It's only three items. Device serial number, this one. Windows product ID, nothing. Oh, nothing between uh, the comma here. And here's the hardware hash. And look what's here. It's have been imported. If we click on this one, we get a bit more information. We can put the device name also. We can also tag it, not really needed always. And uh, enrollment state, it's not enrolled. And there is no assigned profile. That means that the hardware ID is, uh, hardware hash is known here. But if we would try to install this machine and run autopilot, it will not work because we haven't any um, assigned profile yet or profile status. And that's what next video is we're going to set up. Thank you very much. Great job.